All right, hello to anyone watching. Cannon Bridge of Spirits. Apparently there was a preview and there's like a bunch of new info from GameSpot. And I wanna to react to this because this is like my most anticipated game of this year. So let's fucking go, dude. Already! Spirits. Can I just say, okay, I just finished watching the Ubisoft Forward 2021. Fucking in two seconds. <laughs> This is more interesting and more exciting than anything we saw in that hour and a half presentation in like two seconds. You venture Come through on. the land surrounding a village beset by calamity. Whatever happened in the past, you be soft, more like you be soft. You fucking correct, dude. Stranded with unfinished business. As a spirit guide, you're charged with tracking down those spirits and helping them. Oh, but come that on. Also means battling them as twisted monsters and cleansing them of the pestilence infecting them. Very clearly 60 FPS. We got a chance to play about an hour of Kena, in which we ventured into the wilds surrounding the village in search of one of the spirits called Taino. Moment to moment, the game feels like a mix of a variety of action-adventure staples, like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in its fluid melee combat, and Uncharted or Tomb Raider in its occasional environmental oh, puzzles. Come on, pushes. dude! Let's Those go! Are used well, though, with fluid <laughs> Uncharted is one of my favorite game series. Combat that's deceptively simple, but can get deadly in a hurry. As you venture out in come search on, of the spirits you're dude. looking to help, you'll encounter enemies animated with the corruption. The ones we saw tended to be Andrew, creatures made of twisted chunks it. of wood. The bigger they are, the tougher they are. And like I said, beat them down to in them, two seconds of watching this, to locate red hearts, more interesting than the entire hour presentation. Spirit guide powers. Look at this! Come in some on! Hearts will continue to spawn enemies, so locating them oh and getting rid of God. them is the only way to get yourself out this of a battle. This is so good. Two things set Kena apart from similar games. <laughs> cinematic oh, is Devolver has rocks. that started? The first is born of developer Ember Studios' background in animation before it started making video games, and you can really feel how much Kena has derived from animated films in both its cinematics and gameplay. But it's the rot that are really the star of the show. These little folks are spirits of decay, but not in a frightening, horrific way. They have hats! Instead, they're more like the keepers of balance, <gasps> recycling dead things to renew life. And as Kana's trailers have shown, okay, they're exceedingly cute. Dude, come on! You can find <gasps> Look at these the little guys! Hidden under rocks or tucked in corners. The more rot you find to join you, the more powerful they become. What the fuck? Kena's staff serves as a weapon, and she's able to use it to release pulses of energy that can clear the corruption in the world around her, but it also allows her to guide the rot around the world. So you'll use them to move objects and solve puzzles, to fix items. This is like legitimately my items. most anticipated combat, game of this year. want to come to your aid, but they're small and not particularly strong. It was this and Ratchet, so now it is this. To get them ready for a spat. You do that by hitting and defeating enemies to build up a courage meter. When it's full, the rock can perform an action. You can send them out to attack an enemy or interact with an object that can help you, like blue flowers scattered around battlefields that can restore your health. According to Ember Studios, rot attacks have different effects depending on the enemy. Ooh. For some, they might do damage, while for others, they're a distraction that can help you take the pressure huh. off or open them up for attack. Makes sense for bosses. You can also turn the rot into a weapon you can fully control under the right circumstances. Oh. Find a large droplet of water, and the rot can use it to turn themselves into a sort of spirit amoeba, which you can oh. guide around the battlefield. In this form, the rot can wail on enemies, move objects, and attack oh hearts, God. making them vulnerable for you to destroy them. The rot are a huge part of the game, leveling up as you find more and more of them. As you defeat enemies and help to fix the world, you earn karma that allows you to unlock new abilities and well, actions. Well, RE8's already out, so. Of that too. <laughs> As we were playing, we unlocked an ability called Rot Hammer. Where I guess now this probably is your most. Staff and then slams it into an enemy for a big, powerful hit. Karma upgrades these abilities even further, giving you more options to mix the rot in with your fighting style. But even out of combat, the rot are an essential part of Kana's journey. You might find objects blocking your way, and often you'll need to send the rot to clear the path. Throughout the forest surrounding the village, you'll find things like damaged shrines or knocked over statues. But with the rot's help, you can repair Look those things. Why are they so happy? Fixing them gives you more karma, so it's worth exploring the environment and leaving the main path so that you can find new things to interact with. 
The theme of restoration and repair runs throughout Cana. As we climbed up a mountain searching for Taro's relics to summon his spirit, we found places where the rot could move statues to solve puzzles or take this on the fucking form great. to water crops. I guess that's how that works. Working together, oh they my quickly God. become your friendly companions. Farming? When you jump the rot will appear to watch you and cheer you on, and you can find and buy hats for them to Let's wear to make look, them feel there's a little frog! More Put the frog on him! Oh. It's surprisingly intuitive in most cases, even in the midst of combat. At times, it's like having a second character. Oh, control, you see that fucking backflip? God damn! Moving the rot around the battlefield, so you have to divide your attention to keep yourself safe. Kana's a deft fighter, though. In addition to a fast, light attack and a stronger, charged up, heavy attack, she can also create a shield of energy around herself and use that to I want to play this on like the hardest attacks. difficulty. Later, you unlock a bow version of your staff that allows you to snipe at enemies and take out their weak points. We played through a couple big fights against tough mini boss enemies, and despite the game's often bright presentation and the cuteness of the rot, Kana, Bridge of Spirits, didn't pull any punches. Enemies are fast and deadly, especially Ooh. the big ones, and they require you to concentrate on smartly using your Ooh. abilities and the rot, as well as she hit that crit spot, you know what I mean? To stay alive. It's not all combat, though. A lot of Kana is spent exploring Aww. its lush, beautiful world and interacting with its spirits and characters. Whoa. Searching for Tano's relics provides you with insight into what happened to him through his memories and his relatives, serving up some tragic backstory to the situation. That also fills in the gaps of what happened to the village itself, and you're also piecing together Kana's on, personal dude. history along the way. Those moments are often told in powerful cutscenes that draw from the animation background of the studio, creating cinematics that help make the whole game feel like you're traveling through an animated movie. I, 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 I can't fucking wait, dude. Come on. This looks so well, good. From a lot of inspirations, the way it weaves its ideas together makes for an enthralling, deep feeling mm. adventure that seems like it'll I wonder if it'll be 60 FPS on PS5. World and those who want a challenge in combat and exploration. Although difficult. Because they could be playing this on PC. Experience to your liking. So because it it's coming out on both. You. Kana, Bridge of Spirits, is set to release on that. PlayStation 4, I say, PlayStation 5, and that. PC through the Epic Game Store in August. Ground yourself. August feels so far away. Feel the energy um, I was out. planning on ending, but I didn't know it was happening. Draw on its power. This is cute. That's so cool! Come on! Oh my god. Sending Tyson a message real quick. Holy shit! That was fucking awesome. I want to play that so bad. Oh my god, dude. Come the fuck on. What? That's amazing. That's it. I, uh, that, we're just gonna end that there. That's amazing. I can't fucking wait to play that. Holy shit.